Welcome to an Everton TV special. We're swapping football for boxing as we look ahead to Tony Bellew's rematch at the O2 against David Hay. To help me do that, I've got two boxing blues. Peter McGrail on the far side who won Commonwealth gold in the bantamweight division at the recent games. And Jazza Dickens, the former British super bantamweight and world title challenger. Lads, welcome to Finch Farm. Peter, Saturday, looking forward to this one? Yeah, there, can't wait. It's going to um, we watch the press conference yesterday. It's, uh, it's going to be an exciting fight. Like I'm uh, going to be back and value all the way down. Don't know if you saw the press conference today, but it got a little bit heated yeah. at the end there. Yeah, it did. Um, it's the same as last time, weren't it? A little bit of uh, pushing and shoving, but it's all uh, it's all fun and games, isn't it? But once the bell goes on Saturday, they'll be uh, trying to knock each other's heads off, won't they? Of course, the first fight was such a spectacle as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they, Bell, you couldn't really get near Bellew at the um, at the start, you know what I mean? Bellew was just seeing his shots coming. And uh, once once that happened to, to to his, what was it, his ankles, metatarsal or something, once that happened to his thing, oh, you, you knew Bellew was, Bellew was uh, just on top then uh, for the rest of the fight. Jazza, Tony made a statement that night, didn't he? Yeah, I think um, David is very emotional and it and shows in his performances and things. Um, Tony's very strong mentally. I think he can exploit David A's weaknesses in that way. And like, um, I think that A coming into this fight a little bit more older, a little bit more, you know, injury prone sort of thing. I think that it's going to be a repeat for me. That's the, that's the way I see it going. But he's saying the press conference is getting it's getting easier and they're better now to sell a fight, don't they? I seen on the um, the press conference today the fellow who come up. Who was that? Oh yeah, Jay from the In Between Us. Because of course to <laughs> was Tony, Tony Bellew was was calling uh, David Hayes' manager uh, Will from the In Between Us. So today oh, gate crashed. That makes sense. Now, yeah. So makes sense to someone. Apparently. <laughs> uh, Jazza, you of course have got your own rematch coming up with uh, Tommy Ward for the British Super Bantamweight title. So in many ways you're in the same kind of mindset as, as both Tony and David. What can they take? from that first fight, the pair of them, into this one? Well, you, you sort of go back into the fight knowing where you left the last fight and you get get to know a little bit more about the fighter and it, it depends what type of fighter you are. Can you adapt? Can you now um, take lessons in? Did you, What did you see last time? So it's, it's, it's more of a personal thing to the fighter going into the rematch. So um, I think that, I think Tony be able to adapt and he's got a lot more confidence now. He's, he's beat David Day the first time he was the underdog, really, but now I, I see him as the favourite. A lot of people still, still see David Day as being sharp, light and sharp, strong, good heavyweight, but I see um, the confidence in Bellew. I think he'll do, do a job on him again. So who does it favour, having fought before? Um, I think Bellew because it leaves you emotionally emotionally scarred in a way. The, the outcome of the fight, it never leaves you. It, it goes down your record, it's, um, it's set in stone. So that he has beaten before, he can beat him again, and he knows that now, even more. Peter, are you expecting a different fight this time around? Um, not like the decision, you know what I mean? I think Bellew's going to win, but I reckon he's going to win. Obviously, he won comfortably last time, but I think it's going to be... Like, obviously, it's going to be a bit more of a fair fight because Hayes Hayes fought, you know what I mean? Hopefully not, nothing like that happens again, but I just think Bellew, Bellew's got his number and I just think he's a bit more cleverer than Hay and uh, he's got a bit more to his ability than what Hay's got and Hay's a bit one-dimensional, he just swings and he's just not as sharp as he used to be and a few people, Bellew's in his prime now, you know what I mean? He's, he's, um, he's flying, so yeah, they're just the same outcome. Let's look at the keys to victory. What's vital for Tony Bellew on the night? Uh, as, as I was saying there, don't don't get too uh, emotionally involved and stay nice and relaxed, nice and calm and listen to his coach. And that left hook is always going to be a weapon. Yeah, 100%. The bomber. Jazza, what about David Hay? What's crucial for him? Um. Stick, stick to his boxing and not get get involved. Um, he's a nice boxer, isn't he? And he's sharp. I think for him, he needs to stick to his boxing. 
But I see, I just see so so much confidence. I think going from the challenger to the champion has give Belly so much confidence. Champion of the world is a, a special thing, in it? So, so he's going so much in the confidence area. You can see that, and you can see that he hasn't come complacent too. He still wants. He, the fight was um, it was a bit unsure how it ended when it last time. So I think he still actually does want to really put him on his mantelpiece this time. So I think that the confidence is good for Belly. And he's, he's really going in confidence. I see David Day losing a little bit of confidence from what happened last time as well. Gents, I think I know the answer to this question already, but predictions? Peter, you first? Uh, Bell UKO. As I expected, Jasmine? Same as last time. I see it maybe going a little bit longer. That, that's it. Mm. I see the same as last time, no? There you go. Repeat or revenge? We shall find out from the O2 on Saturday night.